Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. Now I'm going to get straight into today's episode as I always do. And uh, we're going to pull up this guy's question here in two seconds. So this guy, his name is Brian. He is a baseball coach. Uh, he's had a business for a couple of years. I'm just paraphrasing what he's saying here. Um, he's had a business for a couple of years. And um, he goes on to say, you know, I feel like I've been working six to eight hours per day on this business. And I feel like I can't get ahead. Um, you know, what should I do? Should I think about quitting? And then he goes on to talk about the clients that he has. Um, and the thing that stuck out to me about this question, is he says he's working six to eight hours per day. Um, and, you know, the first thing that I do, because, uh, you know, I was terrible at math in school, uh, is I, I bring out my 1950s calculator here. And I'm just going to estimate that he takes the weekends off, right? So six to eight hours. I'm just going to say six. All right. Let me lowball it here. Let's say he works six hours and he's just doing that during the week. So six times five, it's 30 hours per week. And he said that's the amount of time that he's spending on his business, right? So 30 hours spent on the business. Now, if you're spending 30 hours a week on your business and you feel like you're not getting ahead, you need to know what you're doing during those hours uh, every hour on the hour um, to see real progress. So when someone tells me I'm working 30 hours a week, I know that they're not um, because that doesn't include the time that they're, they're looking at their phone. That doesn't include the time that they're just watching random YouTube videos. That doesn't include the time that um, they're trying to set up their website. Like those aren't 30 focused hours of work. And I would be shocked if someone works 30 hours and it's focused hours. Um, I would be absolutely shocked if they're not moving their business forward every day. Right? Every day you should be able to move your business forward if you're working that many hours per week. All right? Because that's six hours a day. Um, but here's the problem. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, I work this many hours per week. I know they're not telling the truth. That It sounds good to say I work, I grind it out and I work 40 or 50 or 60 hours per week. Sounds good coming out of your mouth, but that's not the reality. The reality is you have a discipline problem and you, you aren't moving the chains. Every day you're not moving the chains. That means um, you know, you're stuck probably doing the same thing over and over and you're being distracted every single day. So if that's the case, you know what, you probably should quit your business and you should try to find something else to do so that way you stop wasting 30 hours per week. Um, but, you know, if it were me, and I used to be very distracted when I started my business. Like, I know, I used to be very, very distracted. So if it were me, if I was in, in this sort of situation, I would start documenting how I spend those 30 hours. Like, what am I actually doing? And, you know, what am I doing to get clients? What am I doing to get referrals? What am I doing to make sales? If you spend 30 hours a week only focusing on that, then I take 30 hours a week times four, that's 120 hours per month focusing on marketing and sales. If you have 120 hours per month focused on marketing and sales, your business is going to do a lot better. Now, if you spend 120 hours eating Cheetos and you know watching Netflix, uh, I expect your business to do terrible. So this comes down to discipline, knowing what to do, having a schedule. So when you go to bed at night, you say, all right, this is exactly what I'm doing tomorrow, piece by piece, right? And you know, I don't think you need to work 30 hours a week to be successful either. You could be working less than that. Uh, <laughs> so... Hopefully this answers uh, your question. And uh, if, if you guys are watching this video and, and you feel like you're working a lot and you're not moving the needle forward, you're working on the wrong things. You're just on the wrong highway right now. You're getting lost. And, uh, you know, I'd love to help you. If you want more of my help, watch the end of this video and figure out how to get in touch with me. All right, see you later.